Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So, in the series of learning Python programming language, till now we have uh, covered few things in turtle graphics, few methods and all in a previous two videos. So, based on that, we will be discussing one coding exercise in this video, right? Now, what you have to do, you have to draw a dashed line like this. This type of dashed line you have to draw, right? So, I don't know how much long line you will draw, but definitely this would be this much long at least, right? So, see for this, I have also, you know, discussed in the previous video what, me what method you are going to use. So, you can watch the previous video first. If you don't know how to draw this line and definitely when you watch the previous video, definitely will get the methods and it will be very easy to draw after that this line, right? So, pause the video and try this out. Let's create a new file here. So, we'll give me importing from turtle. Specifically, I'm going to import turtle class and then let's create a turtle like Tom is equal to okay, third name of the classes with capital T turtle. Right? And let's create a screen as well object. Screen object suppose as one equal to we have a class screen for that you have to import that class as well from turtle module so here we have screen with capital s right so turtle and this we have now what we can do draw a line to like maybe 10 pixel then no line then again a line of 10 pixel then no line like this so here we can use what methods pen up and pen down right so first draw move your turtle to forward direction suppose 10 pixels right then pen up pen up after pen up just move the circle uh, the turtle again forward to 10 pixels and then pen down and after pen down again move this to forward in forward direction to 10 pixel like this pen up, pen down and draw, right? If I s1 dot suppose first exit on click, let's call this also. So if I run this thing, let's run this. See, one 10 pixel, then no pixel and like this. So yeah, you have to just use these lines again and again, right? So this line forward, then again, Control C and just Control V. Again, I'm going to paste these lines. Again, I'm going to paste these lines three or four times. Again, these lines. Let's run this. See, this much line you got. But rather than writing or copy pasting the same line again and again, yeah, we have loop kind of thing, right? We can use for loop. So just remove these lines. Because these four lines we are repeating again and again. Move forward, then pen up, then move forward, pen down, again move forward. So you can put these line in a for loop. Like for in range, suppose I'm taking range 10, right? And obviously this would be indented. So rather than this dash, you can write down any variable as well, like for i in range. But dash or this, this sorry, do not dash, it's underscore. Underscore means I don't care about the values, whatever the values is. I just want to run whatever is there in this loop 10 times, that's it. I don't care about the values. So just write down underscore or any variable you can also take x, y, z, count, a, b, c, anything, i, that is also fine, right? So let's run this now. See, you can see a dashed line here, right? So this is one way. But I'm not saying that this is the only way to draw a dashed line. There can be another way, multiple ways also. Like maybe when, see, while drawing this line, for 10 pixel, the pen color is black. For again 10 pixel, the pen color is white. You can change the pen color. Then again, change the pen color to black. Then white, black, white, black, white. For 10, 10 pixels. We know you can change the pen color, right? We have a method pen color. Just in bracket, you have to give the color string one time black, one time white. That's it. Or you don't have to give even black. 
because that is by default but obviously when you are changing the color to white then you have to change that to black as well right so black and white black and white this thing you need to be so with second method you just try this out right you try out both the methods with this also pen up and down with black and white changing of the color in that also same four lines would be repeated and the, the, just put those lines into this for loop this kind of for loop right it's not like that you have to take 10 only you can take here 15 so that would be a little bit long line like this right i hope now you got this this time this uh, this thing so please let me know in comment section that thing like how to draw the stash line with the, the changing of the color black black white black white just write down the logic only the four lines right so now in the next video we'll draw a few more shapes complex type of shapes right so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care